Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Workshop Hunters with me and Khan. And now we all know how Scrap Mechanic is so well known for its realistic physics and just realism overall. I mean, look at the soccer ball. I mean... Hey, look at that realism. I felt so like realistic. I kicked myself. <laughs> Wait, can you even lift it off the ground? I'm going to try it. No, it just... It's, wait, wait, you stand there, you stand there, you stand there. I'm gonna stand okay, over here. Right. Get your hammer out. Get all right, your hammer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. right, all right, right. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Can we just do this the whole episode? This is the new... Oh my, <laughs> what? Where did it go? Wait. Realism. Wait, do that again, do that again, do that again. Wait, wait, what? What? Realism. How, what? <laughs> Con, that's just how that's just how real life is. You don't know these things. That's so ridiculous. Show me the most realistic thing I've ever seen in my entire. Life. I want to feel like my my computer monitor is jumping out at me with this creation. Realism. <laughs> Con. Realism. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh, I actually okay. no, have I some. I got oh, you no, have no, some. Okay, some. yeah, that's okay. I, I was just. If you want to play that game. I was just pointing out how right, realistic the terrain is with them. Um... Yeah. All right, Khan. So, we all know that one of the hardest things for people to replicate is like realistic human movement and like the body, the way that the human anatomy is. It's so complex. It's really hard to create <laughs> something. What? Wait, why are you laughing at? Me? Why is your character leaning over? <laughs> Is my character leaning over? No, just me. <laughs> You're looking at me like, what are you Sup, talking kid? about, Sup, scrap kid? man? Hey, remember <laughs> when you were talking about realistic body movement? <laughs> All right, well, anyway. Hey, hey, what, do you, what do you got here, real... kid? What do you, what do you, what do you got? I'm trying to tell you what I got here, okay? This is called, this is called Realistic Human mm -hmm. by Alex. You're going to love it. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to point here. Oh, this looks very interesting. Mm. I typed realistic on the workshop because we're doing the realistic workshop hunters. You know, well, and maybe, maybe, you know, uh, yeah. He, he, it, this is what happens when you eat spicy food. Oh my God. <laughs> that was hot. There's literally nothing uh -huh. left. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> that was your version of realistic humans. Okay, you know what? Humans are hard to do because what? we have two legs, okay? But this is by XN Feck, and this is um, the most realistic horse I think you'll ever you'll ever see. Oh, yeah. I'll just let you. I'll just let you experience the realism firsthand. Is it a realistic albino horse? I mean, you know what? Yeah, there are white horses. That's the thing. You know, actually, this programming isn't easy. <laughs> I'll give them that. Like the, it thought went into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, turning, like how... um, in case you didn't know, horses, when they turn, they just do this. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a thing. The horses. I feel, <laughs> the horses I feel do. very immersed. Yeah, in the realism of this episode. Yeah, I'm very immersed in the gameplay here. Yeah. I mean, I remember, I used to know this, this girl who had horses on her farm, and, uh, this is, I remember coming Wait. out to the fields, and you just see them doing this all the time. I... Con, I think I found an issue with it. Oh, really? What's that? Yeah. You see its eyes? Yeah. See, its eyes are on the front of its head like a predator. But oh, right. They're supposed to be. Yeah, that, yeah. That's they're the only. On the side. Yeah, yeah it's, that's you're the right. Yeah. That's why they're yeah, not. It's like 99% 90, of the way there for realism on this one. All right. I'm going to show you. This thing is called the Rat Rod 2.0 by Optimix. Check okay. this out. I just have a, you, you hold on, I have a pesky time? realistic cat here. Um, okay. Watch what happens when the car turns on after I take it off the lift. Look at that. Oh, that's Look at cool. that. This engine, this like engine rumbles. It's got a vibrating engine, super realistic. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can, why don't you go ahead and get in the driver's seat? I'll get my own. Uh, we can maybe raise, uh, raise them or something. Not to immerse myself in the realism. What's the, the hole in the roof? Oh, I get, I see. That's just scrap mechanic. Yeah, gotcha. well, yeah, that has yeah. to get out in scrap mechanic because scrap mechanic likes to keep the realism real. Okay. Uh, We're keeping it real. What does number two do? All right, yeah. Uh, number two is the lights. Number three is the radio. 
If you go into first person, look at the interior. Yeah, first I'm of looking all. at this. This is really well done for vanilla. Yeah. This looks really, really good. Yeah, uh, number four, four uh, moves the lever. I, I don't, I don't know if it actually has an effect on the driving. I couldn't notice one. And then okay. I have no idea what number five does. Um, I haven't found. My car just started driving on its own when I got in. Really? Mine did not do that. Didn't Toyota have that problem a while ago? I mean. Car, yeah, cars get recalls every so often for faults like that, but, um... Yeah, oh. you know, accelerating without the driver. Uh, this, you know, it actually drives really well. All, you know, it's... It, it does when you don't fly into a ditch. Um, yeah. Hold on a second. I don't know where you went, but, um... I went to a ditch. Oh, okay, well, that's good. All right, you got any actual realistic creations? Um, yeah, I have, uh, another kind of hot rod, I guess we can call it that. Oh. Except... You know, this is kind of, I kind of made it, but not really, because I didn't actually make it, but I kind of made it. It's just called the Con Engine Hot Rod, and it's by Con Cybrog 170. Rod. Yeah, I made a, an engine a while ago. Um, oh, that, I'm not going to tell you what it does, but you can you can probably figure it out. There's a gauge inside, and if you just, There's as you gauge. drive, you know, oh, you have to press 1 to turn on the engine, that's right. And then, oh, and then you can oh, drive. Nice. I can see the fan. Oh, okay. And then when you drive, you know, the fan speeds oh. up. So I built the engine. Um, as you keep driving, you'll eventually notice some stuff will happen once the gauge goes up. And, what uh, gauge? There's a gauge inside. Do you not see the gauge? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, inside? Oh, oh. Yeah, you know, you can't let your engine overheat, Scrap Man. When you do that... Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of awesome. Oh, so the engine does cool down as yeah, well. Yeah, if you let oh, off the throttle, cool. it'll slow down and cool down. But then if you keep holding right, the well, throttle... well, that's boring. Well, yeah, I know, oh, right? First person's actually kind of cool with this. Oh, yeah, it is, too. Yeah, you can see the gauge oh, nicely. I rolled it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Just, uh... Hey, just... it's ju just like Grand Theft Auto. When your vehicle's upside down for too long, it, it blows just up. explodes. <laughs> it's super realistic. I was trying to come over to you. I wasn't even paying attention to my gauge, and um, I'm walking now, so... <laughs> All right, so this one is based off of suspension. Apparently, I got to read the description here. This is by Frank5000. This car uses the Ackerman steering geometry for t turning. Those are some big words I don't know. Well, Ackerman. Ackerman is AC, really the only one I don't know. ACK, Ehrman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know much about cars, but I managed to build it as good as I could. It's a type Sorry of steering. Sorry for bad English. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Um, now, on my screen, it messes up a lot. Yeah, I'm not uh, surprised. There's only like I'm 3 sure, billion bearings here. Yeah, I'm sure you can probably observe what's happening better than me. <laughs> but yeah. it's got some crazy like wishbone suspension, as you can see. And uh, look at the steering. Yeah, that's like how your, your car does it, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, it's all glitchy for me, but I can kind of get an idea of what's happening. Yeah, so, yeah it, moves the, uh, it moves the bar left and right, which here. then slides the thingy with you the thingy. You can have that one. Yeah, no, that's cool. I, I like that. I'll spawn my own in. That is an excess of bearings, though, because he's doing, like, a double wishbone on the front and the back of each side of the steering column, which is just a lot more bearings he could have done with... Yeah. Oh, oh, this boy. is a bad oh, idea. Dear Lord. Um, Super realistic. So, well, this is what happens in a car crash. You just get into these um, barrel roll yeah, situations. Yeah, I'm seeing my whole life flash before my eyes yeah. at two frames a second. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like a PowerPoint right, presentation I'm... of your life. It's not really, like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh. what they mean by when it flashes before your eyes. Yeah. I mean, it's, think about it. It literally flashes of frames. It, it must have really sucked to die in, like, the 70s when it was just, like, a few pixels on a screen, you know? like Yeah, how, and it was all black and white. Black and white, you get, like, three pixels that says you're dead. Yeah, so I have, um, you know, we've, we're doing a lot of cars, it seems, but I have the most realistic bike you have ever seen. I don't think bike. you've ever seen this before. This is by Deku. It's so realistic, right. it falls, falls over, over when it's not on the wow. lip. Wow. You just gotta, right, well, look, look at how realistic this is. Hold on, you gotta... Oh, is this like, does this self-balance? No, you have to actually balance it by, like, steering. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, so realistic. Wow. you lean into it. I've never seen anything like this. I know, right? Like, for scrap, I permanently lean to the right. I can't lean, lean straight, <laughs> lean straight. Okay, okay. It's so oh, realistic, course, though. Right like, so realistic. But yeah, yeah th this is definitely probably, I mean, just the fact that, like, you have to lean into it. Like, yeah. you lean into the turn, and then oh, it turns. Oh, oh, go, I go. oh, I don't have enough speed. Oh, it's really good. Right. Come on, lean, yeah, I've never lean, seen anything lean. like this before in Scrap Mechanic. It's just unbelievable how good this is. 
Yeah, I can't believe it took this long for someone to finally make a bike that actually leans. Yeah, I know, normal. right? It is neat though, because when you're going fast, you can't lean as much. Like you gotta, you gotta slow down. Yeah, it's realistic. It's very realistic. I don't know where you went. Um, I'm, right oh, I'm following. Oh, that was a sweet I jump. I just jumped off the hot rod wreckage. And, oh, you're following me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Go back. Not I'm, much. I'm trying to try to turn this okay, way. But the question is, can is it realistic enough to do a stoppy? Ready? Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't nope. think so. Nope. I, yeah, it's rear wheel drive, so it, it's also rear wheel braking. <laughs> All right, what else do you right. have that's uh, super realistic? All right, I will show you what I have that is super realistic. Okay, so this is Realistic Spaceship by Mindblader. So basically, it simulates the zero-g environment in space. There we go, and you can have that one, and I'll have this one. Oh, okay. Here's the seat. Yeah. So you press number one, you'll activate zero G and then it's kind of W A S D for pitch. And then number two is to go forward and uh, you can see, I think it has like seat. a central core. Yeah. It's got like a central core for it's zero G mode, I guess you could call it. And yeah, it just kind of floats in zero G. You can turn it. I, oops, this I is actually, off. this is, really cool i mean i think you know with the mod pack obviously you can get zero g on anything but this is i think vanilla yeah i, which, yeah, I think yeah i'm pretty sure this is vanilla zero g vanilla it and really it has full impressive. control Hold on. let's see if i can Oh no! I I oh shoot! Oh, I, did you jump off? I jump. I didn't mean to. Don't I, worry. I got no. Here, here. This is how realistic this is. There's We're gonna a switch do a space somewhere. Can I shoot the switch? Space, space rescue mission. I had a lot of trouble saying that. Space rescue mission. Can I? I gotta shoot the switch. There's gotta be a way for me to shoot. Oh, uh, see? This is gonna be a super realistic rescue. Watch this. Okay. I'm watching. Right. I hit All the right. switch. I got the switch. Oh, you hit the switch. All Look right. Super, super realistic rescue mission. Khan ruined it. You know, this is kind of realistic, but more in the future. Um, it's a realistic hoverboard by Lord oh. Payne. Oh, this is so compact. Obviously, you T pose um, on your hoverboard. Wee! And then, yeah, you press, oh my goodness. you press buttons and it does stuff. It's uh, it's very. I don't, hold does on. it just go up and down? No, no. There's four. The four arrow keys are buttons. One, two, three, and four. Do like your, oh. your twists and your turns. I, oh. Hold on. I'm. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. I feel like if it was a realistic cover board, we'd be going like sideways. Well, look at me go. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm Wait. going sideways. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, into a rock. Oh. Hold on. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. I got to put follow cam on. No. Nope. Oh, that Stuck was a bad in a tree. idea. Stuck in a tree. Oh, there my. We go. The, the turning is so aggressive. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little difficult to control, but that's because oh, we're not you know evolved what enough. Is? What? This hmm? is just like those um those water jet packs. Yeah, it, kind it really of. It really reminds me of those. Or like I've seen like one of those water jet packs, but like where he's actually on like a board. Yeah, like, yeah. Standing he's like hooked up to like a, a jet ski or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and it looks just like this. Okay, Th now now I see the realism. Now I see it. Whee! This is actually, I mean, this is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really cool this flyer. Is, this is that, yeah. Once this whole hang of it. flying is kind of fun. Yeah, you just kind of like lean up and you're just like, God, see ya. I, I got another realistic creation for us. Okay, yeah, is it is it realistic? You sure? Yeah, this one, this one's, um, this one's more of a classic kind of scrap mechanic build. This is Garage by Isaac. Realistic Garage. And here, I'm just gonna. Can you help me put some pegs on the corners so it's not flat against the ground? Or, or not? I'll just do it. Okay, you just stand there in the middle. All right, you, you gonna go in the go in the quick way? Yeah, I'm gonna go in the quick way. All right, there you go. Oh. It wasn't it quick. It wasn't work. quick. <laughs> Don't mind me. I got the full view here. All right, so take me on a tour of your garage, scrap man. Uh, All right, here. Well, let me uh, let me go turn the lights on. Oh, perfect. Uh, now I can see so much better from my vantage point here. <laughs> can you actually see or no? Yeah, no, I can see everything. It's perfect. This is great. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, we got our doors. We can go ahead and just close these garage doors. Wow. We got different size doors for your different size vehicles. Can you imagine if we um, built in these for Multiplayer Monday, how much lag we would have? I, I mean, it would be I awesome. Know. It looks so good, but 
We got our sink here for washing our hands because, you know, workshops tend to get pretty dirty. Yeah, for and, sure. And uh, we got our, our duck here for moral support because, you know, you just need that moral support. I noticed there's a balcony up there. Is there anything on the balcony or is it just... Um, there's a danger sign over here and there's a bed because, you know, in case you want to sleep in your garage. That makes sense. Functional. Okay. These are the futuristic paint bombs. They yeah. just instantly paint the entire Outside of your building. house. One, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well, this is, All right, paint, this is a paint her up. good idea Let's waiting go to happen. Give her a nice paint job. What color paint are we using? Uh, well, the canisters are red, so I'm assuming red. Okay. Right, we're painting the red building red. Yeah. Very efficient. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's what you, you know, what you do, I guess. All right. Let's see how it looks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the two hey, are the still alive. Works. The lift works. <laughs> you have any more realistic creations? Yeah, I think I've got one more um, by Icebound Glacion. He makes a lot of realistic stuff in vanilla. And this is a realistic car. Features automatic signal lights, speedometer, fuel gauge, gear shifter, automatic doors. That sounds very realistic. It does, but I don't, I don't know how to do all this stuff. I know you have to fill it with fuel. Why? Why does it have falling object signs on it? Well, because it's realistic. Um, but you gotta fill it with fuel, so you gotta you gotta hold the the gray button by the driver's seat there. I don't know when it's full. I just kind of hold it for a while by the driver's seat in the wheel well. Do you oh, see that? okay. Yeah, and then I oh. once you you hold it, you just get in. Um, see, so okay. Fill it up with fuel. Get in. Two is a horn. Three is a radio, and apparently one is the clutch. But I don't I don't know what that means. Because there's a clutch, okay. but when I hold one, it seems uh -oh. to just lock the back tires. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's an e-brake. I don't know. It's pretty oh, good. Oh, if you tap it, I think it increases the speed. It, well, it seems... least I'm going a lot faster than I was. I'm not. Um, I'm not going at all. My. Um, uh, Did you I've... run out of fuel? No, I've had a car accident. I don't. Um... Where are you? I'm back pretty much where we started. My right side is sagging. I think I blew out my suspension. Um, oh, this is awesome. I, I go slower backwards than I do forwards, which is actually realistic. Like, you can hear it switch gears. I don't Look know how, how fat I am. I, I'm... You know what? I'm not going anywhere. My car's broke, man. <laughs> My car just, I just you broke. Do? I don't know. Did you I put the wrong kind of fuel in it? I put the, I think I put diesel in a gas car. It's okay. You know what? We're going to just dispose of that. And I'm just going to, I'm going right. to hop in yours. Yours seems like it's working. Yeah, mine's going great. Look at this. Yeah, that's really cool. I don't know what happened to mine, man. The right side started sagging yeah. and then it just, it just stopped running. So I blew it up. So, I mean, that... so check it out. I'm going to go uh, backwards now and watch how it changes. Oh yeah, it is slower. Yeah. It's so much slower. And then you like, you can kind of, it, it switches gears before it starts going when you switch directions. Well, that's really cool. All right. How much gas do you have? He said there were gauges. How I do don't you, know. How do, you, uh, how do you tell the gauges? Uh, oh, the ducks are the gauges. The, ducks, the ducks are the gauges? Oh, oh, I don't. I think so. Yeah, I think you're right, but I don't know which is which. They're both gray. All right, now I knew this next one, I knew this was perfect for this episode just based on the title alone. I really didn't need to look much further past that. Okay. Um, So this is called, and, and I stress in all caps, Realistic physics by Mr. Mocha. But we're in the most realistic physics game ever created. Like, I don't I don't understand. Yeah. So, yeah. And somebody now has um, created realistic physics. So, here you go. Um, you go ahead and drive your realistic physics mobile. How? What? How? Is it, <laughs> how <laughs> what? <laughs> but I have so many questions. I have so many. I have so many questions. Let's start with the most obvious question. Um, what are those with these with these wheels? Like realistic. Like first, first of all, second of all, why is there suspension when the wheel can't even compress inside? Of, like it, the each wheel has all that suspension on it, but the what? <laughs> Does it turn? I knew this was going to be perfect for this. Wait, you I know what? How it, it, like, doesn't, it, it doesn't turn. I have a... Scrap it. Hold on, it hold doesn't. on. I have a solution. We're, we're clearly oh, missing okay. the realism part of this. Wait. Khan, if you're saying I have a solution, that implies there's a problem? Yeah, it doesn't turn. But the solution is because it needs to be double realistic. 
Oh, double reload. Right, so like, now uh -huh. if we work together, I can turn one uh, way. See, look at, look at the realistic perfect. tank. Re 100%. Look at how realistic this is. This All is right, so now if we both go forward. Look at that, we can actually look turn. That, look at that realism. We're we're moving now. This is, okay, this is gotta, how gravity works. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> oh, look at this. That is perfect. This is the best idea ever. <laughs> This is how we got to do a multiplayer Monday, where you build one half of a tank and work together. <laughs> ah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I always like to save the best ones for last. Yeah, no, this is this is for sure. This takes the cake. Look, we're not even welded straight. Like we're not even aligned. It doesn't even matter. It's so realistic. No. It just doesn't doesn't need it. Let's send these ones on their way to re realistic heaven. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what you think the most realistic creation was. And, oh yeah, uh, definitely. Of, of course, you know, make sure you give us your ideas for other workshop hunters. Um, and of course, next week is uh, going to be haunted houses, right, Scrapman? We're gonna do, we're gonna do. Haunted oh yes, yes, houses? we're doing a challenge to uh, uh, in our discords, me and Khan's Discord. If you want to submit to Khan, submit to him. If you want to submit to me, submit to me a haunted house themed build for yeah. next week's workshop. Doesn't have to be hunters. a full There's haunted house, but you know, something that is haunted house yeah, yeah. related yeah so you got till uh tuesday we're going to be recording so make sure you have your submissions in by then yeah good times it'll be fun all Can't right wait. well we'll see you in the next video yep bye bye